Hello, it's good to see you guys again. We're back here again with another book review. This time it is Stone Fox. I love Stone Fox. I remember as a little kid reading this and watching the movie. Man, it is a wonderful, wonderful story. It's about little Willie and his dog, Searchlight. They are inseparable. They love each other. This isn't Searchlight, but they love each other. So what it's all about is Willie lives on a farm with his grandpa. Well, grandpa gets sick. They can't pay for the farm. They got to make a payment, $500. Willie can't figure it out. He can't. How is he supposed to make a $500 payment? Grandpa's sick in bed, like deathly sick, and he can't do it. Well, one day, he is in town trying to get the money. And this is what happens. Things looked hopeless. And then little Willie found the way. He was at Lester's general store when it happened when he saw the poster. Every February, the National Dog Sled Races were held in Jackson, Wyoming. People came from all over to enter the race, and some of the finest dog teams in the country were represented. It was an open race. Any number of dogs could be entered, even one. The race covered 10 miles of snow-covered countryside, starting and ending on Main Street right in front of the old church. There was a cash prize for the winner. The amount varied from year to year. This year, it just happened to be $500. Sure, Lester said as he pried the nail loose and handed little Willie the poster. I'll pick up another one at the mayor's office. Lester was skinny but strong, wore a white apron, and talked with saliva on his lips gonna be good one this year they say that mountain man the indian called stone fox might come never lost a race no wonder with five samoyeds but little willie wasn't listening as he ran out of the store clutching the poster in his hand thank you lester thank you so he enters the race and he's racing he's racing what happens he is racing to try and save the farm. Him and Searchlight. Just him, one boy, and one dog, Searchlight. Against these grown men with professionally trained dog sled teams on this 10 mile race. What happens? Will he make it? Will he win? Will he even survive? What about Stone Fox, who's never lost a race? Stone Fox stood up slowly. No one spoke, no one moved. All eyes were on the Indian, the one called Stone Fox. The one who had never lost a race, who now had another victory within his grasp. But Stone Fox did nothing. He just stood there, like a mountain. His eyes shifted to his own dogs, then to the finish line, then back to little Willie. With the heel of his moccasin, Stone Fox drew a long line in the snow. Then he walked back over to his sled and pulled out his rifle. Awesome book. You will love Stone Fox. So Stone Fox is a story that came from a Rocky Mountain legend. Uh, all the characters in here are fictitious. But the ending to this story belongs to the legend and is reported to have actually happened. So Stone Fox is a level P, which is on a third grade reading level. So it's a good read for a third grader. Probably a really good second grader could even read this book. So you could go all the way up to fifth grade, second up to fifth, but a good third through fifth book. Really easy for a fifth grader. It has, 81 pages so it's a really quick read it's not a hard book there's even some pictures in it you really want to read this book even if you're above fifth grade and haven't read stone fox you need to read it it is a classic yes a classic so if you like this video if you like this book 
Click the like button. Click, click, click. Subscribe. Da, da, da. Share it with your friends. Get it out there. We've got more books coming your way, and they are awesome. So thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.